Hello everybody, um, I'm Dustyano268 here, um, just doing some AI duels on UDO Pro, testing out some animated ads. Um, I'm here to talk about something I keep saying in Legacy of the Duelist throughout the course of next week and keep making it fool myself doing. And that thing I'm doing is I'm saying that there is not DLC yet in the game. Now, hear me out. I know a lot of you are already thinking that I was stupid for saying that. Um, here's the thing. There is DLC out for Way to See the Duelist. There is. There is indeed. And it's pretty decent DLC. It, there's nine of them. They're out now. But when the update first dropped, I repeat, when it first dropped, I did not see any DLC. Um, there's The PlayStation Store still, still said there was only eight. And because of that, I made assumptions and that was wrong. Um... You can argue that it was an awful thing for me to do. I just made assumptions that there wasn't going to be DLC this early. Apparently, it was already out, and I was just really, really stupid. I'm hoping you can forgive me for that one. Because, again, it was pretty silly of me to just think that there wasn't any DLC. and that I thought there was going to be. I just didn't know it was already out. So, don't judge me too harshly when it comes to next week's episodes when I keep saying there isn't DLC or certain cards aren't out. Because they are. They are. It's just that they aren't out for free. You gotta pay them. You gotta pay money for them. Pay DLC for them. Man, I'm getting my ass owned here by Tribo Deck. Um, but you know that happens. Oh, that's not helpful. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's just the message I want to send. I want to make this video real quick, showing off my new emulator as well. I mean, not my emulator. Uh, my screen recorder. I think it works really good. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you enjoyed next week's content. I'm really sorry that I was stupid and didn't check for DLC again. But trust me, guys, there I'm going to be playing around with this. Also, I feel I should talk here real quickly about this. Um, the new DLC duels. How am I going to be doing it? Will I be doing it? The answer is yes. I will be doing the new DLC duels in this game. I promise you I will be doing them in this game. I feel like it would be betraying my a large amount of my fan base to not do them. Um, so I will be doing them. I promise you I will be doing the duels. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to finish Zetso. I'm going to finish all of Zetso. And then before I start Arc 5, I'm going to go back and play through the duels in uh, uh, Red Gear Yu-Gi-Oh! and GX and, and uh, uh, 5Ds. Then once that's done, I will then move on to Arc 5. Um, I will be playing through Arc 5. I will play it. I'll play all the DLC. And I'll probably end up using some own decks. I plan on building Cosmo, Speedroid Medolce, uh, Triple D, uh, Draco Pals, a lot of different decks that were really relevant back in the... Not too long, not back in the day, really. Not too long ago, like a few months ago. Some of them, arguably, are still relevant. Um, I plan on building new Blue Eyes support. A lot of good stuff. So I'm pretty sure Chaos Max is in one of the DLCs. I also said that the Buster Blader cards aren't in the game, but I might be wrong about that. Or maybe they are in DLC? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm stupid. Forgive me. But point of this video is, I'm sorry that I said that there were some of these cards out at the time. Because at the time, I genuinely believed that there weren't. But they are out now. You can go and buy them right now. Each DLC is 5 bucks. Um, some of them are probably more worth it than others. Uh, personally, I recommend picking up the Kaiju one, the Cosmo one. I think those are the same one, actually. Kaiju, Cosmo, I'm pretty sure. No, uh, Kaiju is the Chancellor Shepard one. There's one with Cosmo in it. I recommend picking that one up. One with Performages, you should definitely pick up. Does that? I think, the, and the one with Speedroids, you should probably pick up. As well as whatever else you're interested in. I don't know how recent the support is in any of these decks. But I guarantee it's a large amount of content you don't want to pass up on if you're a really big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Or if you really like Legacy of Duelist. Um, I also believe that this is a really good update. This breathes a breath of fresh air into the game. I feel it's quite good. I'm really happy to say that it's got some decent multiplayer now. The multiplayer servers seem a little bit more stable now as well. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just making shit up. I swear I'm not, but it seems like it's a lot more stable. So, sorry to bore you guys all with this one video, but I hope you uh, understand the point of this video. I'm trying to, to address some things, because when I'm recording videos, I'm recording a week prior to them being aired. So, whatever I say can be a bit dated at times, but don't worry. Just addressing everything here in this one short video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.